Pivot slicers are great tools to visualize your records. Say we have a series of simple records like these, and we want to visualize the outcome with a pivot table and pivot chart. This could be the end result. Here is your pivot table, and here are two pivot charts, and the slicers allow you to say I want only Atlanta, I want only Boston, only Chicago, only Houston. The, the problem with a pie chart is that it only can show one column, so it takes the first available column. If, if I want a situation for accounting, for communication, for finance, they all update according to your slices. That's what they call slices. So how do you create all these tools? Let's do it from scratch. I put here the steps we have to take. Um, click inside your records or database and insert a pivot chart and a pivot table. If you go to pivot chart, it allows you to do pivot chart and pivot table. It automatically selects your database. I'm going to put it in an existing worksheet so you can see it all together. Let's say we want to start it there. And this is what we get. Let's put the department on the axis, the location in the legend, and the salaries in the values. I'm going to make my screen so we can see the results. We don't have slicers yet. I'm, I'm going to do that soon. Uh, you, you probably know that once you click outside your pivot table, that panel to the right disappears until you click here again. Okay. So now we are going to put inside the table a slicer. Make sure you are inside your pivot table. Insert a slicer. And it says, what do you want your slicer for? Let's say for department and location. And we click OK. And there are your slicers. I'm going to uh, fix them a little bit. Let, uh, once you have selected one slicer, you can always go to options and say how many columns do you really want. Let's say four. I am moving that one over. And you resize them according to your needs. Okay. We do something similar with the second one. Options. You determine the number of columns. And there are your two slices. The slices should work now. If I click on Atlanta, we will only see in the table Atlanta, in the column chart, Boston, etc. And in Boston you can select just communication, finance, etc. How do you click those filters off in the slices? Clear the filter clear the filter. Now we are going to insert a pie chart. We want it combined here, so make sure you are inside the pivot table. Insert a pie chart, pivot chart. I am making it a pie. Uh, I told you already, pies have limitations. They can only show one series of values, that means one column. So you may have to fix your screen a little bit, so things uh, look decent. But now we have to make sure that this new pie chart is also 
connected. Let's first make sure that the location is on the axis. That's probably the best choice, but that's completely up to you. I'm going to move location to the axis and department to the legend. But we have to hook it on to the slicers. How do you do that? You select that pie chart, you go to Analyze, and you select the filter connections. And make sure that they are hooked up to those two, or, or just one if you want to. Okay. So now, this one also listens to the slicers. So if I say I want only accounting, then it, it will show that accounting is in Atlanta and Chicago. It will show that here. And you can at any time turn that filter off. And we get all options that, but as I said before, be aware that it can only show one column. So it will in this case only show management. So I click that filter off. Uh, the other filter probably works much better. And you will see that it, it shows you I've, I have a very limited uh, database. So when you have a better database, those slicers may work great. If you, um, if you want to see certain sections of your database. Of course, you can put all of this also on a separate sheet. I did that already here, so um, I don't see the original database anymore. So it will also work here because that is also hooked up to that table. 